Welcome to Tajikistan, a country full of stunning landscapes, rich culture, and warm hospitality. We are planning to spend the next 24 days here, and in this series of videos, we'll be exploring different parts of the country, starting with the capital city, Dushanbe. One of the most famous parks here in the city is called Rudaki Park and that's currently where we are at. Rudaki is considered to be the father of Persian poetry and not only is he a famous figure here in Tajikistan but he's also a famous figure in all of the Persian speaking countries such as Iran and Afghanistan. So here we got the statue of the poet Rudaki. Right there we got the second biggest flagpole in the world. What you got to show, Rosie? It's going to be a very photogenic spot. Look at that. Like, imagine you just sit there and take a photo. Okay, guys, go on Instagram and like this photo for us. <laughs> Rosie's going to take, take one it. right here. That's beautiful, though. She can look pretty, shine like the city. Make him stop and stare. She can cross his path. Hope he does the math. That one plus one is two. Yeah guys, this is a very nice park. You know, we have a lot of the locals hanging out here, sitting on the benches, you know, we have kids playing around and all of these beautiful flowers that are everywhere. And of course, we have the huge Tajik flag flying above there and Rudaki statue. You truly feel the Tajik culture just walking around the park here. So Human is very into like historical buildings or architecture. When I'm like completely obsessed with like the beauty of the nature, like the flowers, the trees, the greenery, so this place is like perfect for both of us. Now we are at the second tallest flagpole in the world. Now this is a part of the Rudaki Park. This flagpole is absolutely massive. Look at this guys. So I don't think you guys want to see how big it is. Here we can't even see the flag ourselves. Look at this. How massive this flagpole is. This flagpole was made in 2011 and at the time it was the biggest flagpole in the world at 165 meters. Now this flagpole costed 3.5 million dollars to be made and currently it's the second biggest flagpole in the world. This beautiful lake that is right in front of the flagpole and these flowers are absolutely beautiful. Just in time for Noru's. Guys, I don't know if you guys see it, but like in person, there's like a lot of mountain in the back and it looks super majestic. Like, wow, it's amazing. Me too, I'm going to machine. Me too, I'm going to machine. Are you going to machine? Can you fit? Yeah? Aww, he's, so he's, he's cleaning it for you too. You no, have to cover up your scars. Perfect darling, just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love Love, love, love mm -hmm. Love, love, love oh, This is like a workout area <laughs> And the kids play area <laughs> English is Oh, talk to her English. Hello. What's your name? Hello. My name is Hello. My name is Hello. 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 Oh, he said there's a lot of historical things here. Joy Tarihi. Oh, okay. Museum. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you guys. Bye bye. What's up, Fes? You know, it's incredible walking around here and seeing some of my childhood heroes that are here all over the park. And one of them being Kurosh Kabir, whose statue is right in front of the park here. And he is the founder of the Persian Empire, one of the biggest empires in the world. He is known to have been one of the most incredible rulers. And he is also the founder of the human rights and actually the Chamber of Human Rights 
from his period is at the United Nations. Yeah, so one thing about the Tajik language, the script is in Russian, so I cannot read it. So even though I could speak Tajik because I speak Farsi, I cannot read it because it's in the Russian script. But Google always comes in handy. So this is Mahmoudi Torobi from the year 1242. Now this park is very historical and all around is different statues of famous Tajik, Persian people from the past. Yeah, I'm really quite impressed by how polished this center of the city is. I mean, this park is really, really nice. Another thing that's been quite interesting here in Dushanbe is that this is one of the first capital cities that hasn't really been chaotic. Like there's not that many people that honk horns on a regular basis. Everybody kind of follows the rules. The drivers drive pretty good for the most part. It's just a very calm city. Like you don't think that it's a, you know, capital city of a country. We are at Rudaki Avenue, which is the main street here in Dushanbe. Now here has some of the best shopping as well as some of the best restaurants and bars in the city. And we are currently at one of the restaurants here that is known to have some of the best steak in the city. We got the steak with the pepper sauce. Rosie got the same thing. And we got the Moroccan tea, the fresh pomegranate juice, and uh, some olive snacks. Mm. The food is good. Mm. I love these olives too. And what's really nice in Tajikistan is all of the fresh pomegranate juice. It's amazing. So another thing that we have noticed walking around Dushanbe is how clean the streets are. Like we're walking around here in the center of town, we haven't seen a single piece of trash anywhere. Especially when this weather is in a transition between winter and spring. So it's super pleasant. And it's have a little wind, a little breeze. Very like walkable and enjoyable walking around. The weather is quite nice. I think about 65, 70 degrees Fahrenheit almost every day. And it's been very, very pleasant, for sure. Definitely, they're preparing here for Nowruz, Persian New Year, and the start of spring. So it definitely has that spring vibe. As you're walking around, you feel it, right? You feel the spring vibe here. There's a lot of people, they were driving, and then they put very loud music. You feel like they get getting to celebrate. <laughs> All right, so now we are at Rohat Tea House, which is one of the famous tea houses here in Dushanbe. And this tea house was built in 1958. This is one of the older buildings that is in Dushanbe. So it's a very kind of a historic building. And uh, I was talking to the gentleman here, and he told me that this building is the same way that it was built in 1958. So exactly how it was back then is how it is now. So it's very beautiful. We actually have a really nice view of the road. Yeah. And it's right now in like sunset town. The sun is absolutely perfect. Taking a <laughs> sip of drinks and looking at the road, looking at like people walking around, the weather is nice, the sun is beautiful. Everything combined is gonna be perfect. All right, so normally tea houses obviously are known for their tea and food. And uh, right now it's uh, kind of in between lunch and dinner. So we didn't really want to eat. And also it's a little bit later, so we don't want to have tea because then we might be up tonight. So we kind of ordered something weird. So first of all, we ordered a really big pomegranate juice. I don't know if it's fresh or not, so we shall find out. So from what we expected, it's going to be like fresh and newly made for brand new juice. Yeah. It's like house homemade. But like this one... We don't know though, we have, we have to try it to see. The second of all, uh, we, thought, we thought that we were ordering ice cream. So uh, we thought it was, you know, I said ice cream, he said that we don't have this ice cream, but try this one. So, uh, you know, anyways, we thought it was a chocolate ice cream, but it ended up being a chocolate bar. But yeah, it was a little bit of a language barrier. So we thought this was ice cream and then obviously, so let's try it. Pour our pomegranate juice. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, 
fresh. Might be for the granny soda. White chocolate. Pomegranate is something mixed, but it's definitely not fresh. It's one of the mm. something you get it from a grocery store. Right. But anyway, this is on us. We order very strange things today. Okay, so we had to order the tea here. It wasn't proper to just come here and have what we ordered. So we are getting the the tea, the house tea, but we got the green tea because it's a little bit later in the day. Cheers. It's a nice green tea. I gotta show you this. So this here is called Nabot, which is kind of like a sugar cube. And it's very popular in this region, in Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Iran. What you typically do is either you have it like this, or you can kind of put it in your tea and, you know, kind of uh, sugar it up with the cubes like this. So. And it actually works really well. So like whenever you have like a stomach problem, or a stomach pain, you take one of these like cubes, it does help your stomach get better. And as we go around the city, we see so much construction everywhere. So this city is definitely still being like built out and center of the city, outskirts of the city, it's all these new buildings being built. I think in the next like five, 10 years, this city is gonna be very interesting. Yeah, it's modernizing very quickly. And no matter where we are, we see the beautiful Tajik flag everywhere. The Tajik people are definitely very proud people. So Rosie, what do you think about Dushanbe so far? It's gone far beyond my expectation. Mm. So yeah, so far they have been very impressive, very enjoyable. We're gonna have a lot more days here, so yeah. please subscribe to our channel to see more content from Dushanbe <laughs> and from different countries. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video about our first impressions of Dushanbe, the vibrant capital city of Tajikistan. We hope that you enjoyed getting a glimpse of this unique and beautiful city and in the coming videos we'll be exploring more of Tajikistan, both the city life as well as some day trips outside to see some beautiful nature as well as some historical sites. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel adventures. See you in the next video.